A young girl courageously fought cancer as supporters cheered her on and sent her gifts. There was just one problem, she never really existed. It was a heartbreaking tale, a 14-year-old girl fighting a cancerous tumor and reaching out for support. And a North Idaho woman who wanted to help only to find out she had been duped. KXY4's Anusha Roy joins us now live. And Anusha, you spoke with the victim today. She's got to be outraged. Yeah, well, Phaedra Hansen goes back and forth between just being sad and angry at what happened. She volunteers for the Ronan Thompson Foundation, which is dedicated to finding a cure for neuroblastoma. So when that young girl reached out for support, she immediately wanted to help. She created friendships and got into people's hearts and wasn't even real. Phaedra Hansen has a soft spot for kids. So many of them are dying now, it just breaks my heart. She never thought someone would take advantage of that. A lot of me was really sad, a lot of me was really mad. A 14-year-old girl by the name of Jael Smith added her as a friend on Facebook last hair. summer. They had a few mutual friends, including rock star Ronan. She had neuroblastoma, the same as Ronan, yeah. Hansen sent care packages to the Bahamas where the girl claimed she lived. Then she got an email from her mom. She said that uh, JL passed away. It was a good couple days. I was fighting tears and just so sad. The foundation wanted to send a gift or put up a post about Jael. Instead, they discovered something else. We couldn't find any birth certificates, death certificates. We couldn't find anything. Jael wasn't in the neuroblastoma registry for kids. Hansen even called the hospital. They only had record of the past two weeks. The, I believe I called within that two-week period, and they said that they didn't have record of that girl's name. Jael's Facebook pictures appear to be fake. This photo was found on Tumblr of a girl with alopecia. Then a second photo was found on another website. Her name is Carly Stevens, and she's from Pennsylvania, and she has leukemia. Hansen realized that Jael doesn't exist. It isn't about the money or the care packages, but about the emotions the scammers robbed. You don't want to question if this kid really, if someone reaching out to you really is, has cancer or anything like that. Now, Hansen did go to the Coeur d'Alene police who said that it does appear she got scammed. They directed her to the uh, file a complaint at the Internet Crime Complaint Center, which is through the FBI and the National White Collar Crime Center. Live in Coeur d'Alene, Anusha Roy, KXLY4 HD News.